Hello, this is Martin, and today I want to show you guys cool apparatus that was invented by the Incas used to store numerical information called a quipu. A quipu is an intricate system of knotted strings of sometimes various colors that store and convey information. Their use dates as far back as 2600 BCE up until 1532 CE. They were very effective as a universal method of communication between groups across regions that spoke different languages. The Incas would travel distances up to 3,000 miles using quipus to deliver accurate numerical information. The Inca quipus were primarily counting tools to store numerical data. They were also able to record census information, accounting data, military, calendar details, tax information, and much more. Numerically, quipus work like a decimal system. The highest values are at the top of the string, then lower values as you make your way down. A space separates each value set, such as the ten, thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, and single digits on the string. You can visually see the number by the position of the knots because of the base 10 number system that we still use today. So you will need black yarn, different colored yarn, and scissors. Now. You will want to get a string of yarn three times the size that you would like to have. So you want a foot worth of yarn, you should have cut three times its length. Now you'll want to do another string the same size, that way you can wrap around it and make it a thicker cord. Okay, so now that we have the uh, secondary cords attached to the primary cord, we begin with the uh, number system. So, the bottom of the cord represents the ones, the tens, the one hundreds, and the one thousand section. Because of the cords that are quite small, we will only be working with ones, tens, and maybe the one hundreds. So we begin with creating in the ones place a two knot around the cord. As you can see here, it's one and two tied together within the same knot. Next we move on to the uh, tens place and we'll create three knots, but three individual knots instead which that's how it's distinguished between the tens and the ones placement. As you can see here, three individual knots are created to represent 30ths, or number 30. Finally, we move up to the 100th place and we create two individual knots as well, which at the end will represent 232. Alright, so here we have our quipu. It's quite small but I challenge you guys to pick your favorite number and use this information to create your own quipu and have a special way of storing numerical information. Hope you guys liked it and thank you so much.